This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh, cheers, Grace Halbig. Cheers, my real heart. Oh my goodness, here we are. Another mm-hmm. episode of This Might Get Weird. It might get dry, but oh, that, man. I mean, that quenches the thirst, what you got right there. Yeah, what y'all don't know is I just made Grace Halbig a mocktail. Wow, look at us. Who knew? If you told me a year ago today no. that we'd be sitting here drinking mocktails, I mean, I'd be, I'd say, go fuck yourself. Well, we're recording this at 6 p.m., which we uh, never, we're usually in We never do because we're uh, f- fucking in the bag by six. <laughs> I know. If you guys have heard us do a podcast, not in the morning, we'll be like, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Truly. Is, and also because we're like three weeks into our dry January, when the sun sets, I'm done for the day. So driving over here, oh. I was like. I, it's dark. Yeah, I was like, my AARP was like shining through that I was like, I shouldn't be leaving my house right now. My AARP <laughs> is shining through. That should definitely be their theme song. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, man. I'm Oof. still I'm still going strong in the world of experimenting with alcohol-free shit. Yeah, this is wonderful what you just gave it's me. It's not bad, but mm-hmm. this week. Yeah. So we'll get into all our stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was in, I've been in Palm Springs the last entire week. I know. I have never spent that a- Long really? of time down there, yeah. It starts if it, it's a little bit like I imagine when you're in solitary confinement. Not to like put myself <laughs> in like a comparison of how terrible that is, but you start to lose track of everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because it's hygiene. Your Groundhog's Day. You're having the, the same day over and over again down there. I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> I'm so fucked up from being in that time warp for a week. But my friend was down there visiting Kiwi. Mm-hmm. Her name is Kiwi. She's yes. not a Kiwi. <laughs> that Mamie really lost her mind down there. Kiwi. <laughs> um, you know, she was a talking mouse. Yeah. Um, and she loves a mojito, mm-hmm. like a not too sweet mojito. Mm. And I found. Uh, like a fake rum and I was making no hitos. Look at you go. I mean, does is the go hitos. Go hitos, go hitos, go, <laughs> go hitos, go hitos, go. Uh is the next cocktail book a mocktail book? Absolutely fucking not. Nope. <laughs> no. The second the clock strikes February first, I'm I gonna know. turn into a pickled pumpkin. Oh, I can't wait. So uh, how's your week been? What's up? I've also I mean, I basically had a very similar week to you. Mm. Um, but I was in my house, uh, speaking of solitary confinement, yeah. I just in the last 24 hours got really into love after, uh, lock up, love after lock up. Okay. I told you, bitch. I um, told you I'm five <laughs> episodes in, it's been less than 24 hours. Okay. The first, holy shit. I know. Okay. <laughs> we won't go too hard for it for the people who haven't watched it, but like, oh it's my God, nuts, right? It's so bonkers and I, t- I turned it on last night as I was trying to fall asleep thinking like no you don't fall asleep to that no I don't turns out didn't fall asleep till way late <laughs> okay I got through I think the three seasons I, I think started, there's three seasons I, I well, well now there's I life after two. lockup oh, of course there has to be a fr- this is like the grittier 90 day fiance for me totally yeah. so now they do like this is when they first get out of jail blah 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 <sighs> but then they have a spinoff of couples that have so far made it wow called like life after lockup but let me tell you when i started watching that show because i naturally fall asleep later than chip yeah but i do a thing where i'm like well i'll go to i'll go into bed at the same time right right so that i don't fall asleep on the couch Mm -hmm. but i'm gonna put in headphones sure and watch something on my phone and i mean that motherfucker was asleep at midnight i was like up till three (laughs) yeah it's just being like i hope he doesn't roll over and see me watching conjugal vidget it's <laughs> it's so bonkers to me i couldn't mm-hmm. believe it and like well first of all all of the women on it have better nails than i will ever have in my life and they've been in jail for years Grace, let's be honest both of us yeah. i mean i occasionally try to grow out a little nail and i've gotten better and you know i give <laughs> a myself nail here and there. A little, just one <laughs> Just one. Uh, you know, I've been giving myself French manicures. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, Gigi Hadid mm-hmm. or Bella, whichever one also likes them. Um, started the trend. But your hands gross. Look like a small creature gnawed at them for yeah. a while. I look like I work <laughs> in the field somewhere. You look like you got too close to a wood chipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I will never be a QVC hand model. <laughs> Ever. A before. Yeah, maybe a before. <laughs> That's actually something I should look into. But I was shocked at how beautiful their nails are. Also, they do their makeup better with the coffee grounds and toothpaste that they're given okay, yes. than I do with actual eyeshadow. There is a woman who <laughs> leaves jail and she's very excited to meet her husband. They're going to get married the next day. Uh, and she's like, Do you see my makeup? 
<laughs> the eyeliner is coffee grounds. Because you go smell it. You can smell, smell it. it. You can smell that coffee. <laughs> smell like, it. I mix coffee grounds and toothpaste. Uh, it's like a YouTube challenge. It really is. It's like use the, you know, the remnants of this yeah. continental breakfast. Anything but makeup. Put your makeup on. <laughs> it, and you then, see this? You see this beautiful gold um, eyeshadow? That's just egg yolk. Yeah. <laughs> That was, was just egg Benedict. Yeah, he was like, how do you do your makeup? She's like, it's an actual pencil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God. That sounded like it hurt. It was uh, really amazing. And well, that the, welcome. the two just have sex in a ditch. Yeah. Just I mean, so many spoilers. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll start a separate life after love after lockup well, podcast. I'm, I'm saying, do we do a uh, watch and talk kind of video with oh, that? A react. A react. A Mystery Science Theater 3000 to this because it Ugh. continuously is blowing my mind. Like it's more intense than 90 Day. It's way more intense than thank 90 you. Day. And also thank you for giving me... <laughs> now something to look forward to to get me through the rest of yes. dry january yes. i mean luckily you could tell elliot's out of town too oh that's been the thing elliot's been out of town on a tour with the valley folk and so i've just been in my own solitary confinement in my house i've painted my bathroom stop I've, it i need i need okay well, before you got here well, I, I told you yeah Y'all, I have had this wallpaper on like just kind of one side of my bedroom because it was the owners before and they mm-hmm. were like, hey, if you're renting, you know, like just yeah. leave it up. Now, as we know, my house was bought by someone else. Yes. I got the new landlord. Right. Um, And he was doing something in my house this weekend when I was gone. I was like, by the way, can I pay s- someone to take down that wallpaper and just paint the room? Mm-hmm. Like, is that cool? And he was like, I'll just take it down for you. I've heard that taking down wallpaper is a bitch. Yeah, it sucks. So he did it for me. And I was like, cool, I'll get you to approve any painting I do, like the colors before I do it. He goes, who cares? It can be painted over. Amazing. So now I've never even thought about being able to paint my bedroom or bathroom. What did you do? I, I, (laughs) I'm peaking the sound. I'm so excited. (laughs) I, uh, so Elliot left, which meant I just had to, I was on a mission to fill my hours of my day. And and I've been, you guys, we're not dependent on men. No, I'm not. It's just, we're very sober. I don't have a codependency (laughs) issue. Uh, (laughs) right now anyway. That we know of. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I was just like, I'm painting the bedroom. I'm painting the bathroom. <gasps> you did both? So I went to Home Depot because it turns out when you decide to do something, it's pretty easy to just do it. So Well, but see, that is a great mm-hmm. attitude. Not everyone has that attitude. I, I will think about painting that wall for a very long time. Well, I've been in my house three years and so it's getting painted for yep. the first time. So. Okay, but you're the kind of person y'all grace is a great friend because if you have to like put furniture together or move or anything grace volunteers to do it like things that i will fake an illness mundane like physical things that tasks that can come to completion yeah mindless tasks that i can see (laughs) tangible results from i'm all about where you go like slap my hands together i finished something yeah and i i operate very well on um like lonely impulses when I don't have wow, any- lonely impulses is like the saddest <laughs> EDM record. Yeah. That's like my lonely, lonely. No, lonely impulses is going to be my line of vibrators. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I just made that EDM joke, I could hear chip rolling his eyes. <laughs> I mean like no one, first of all, you said record grandma also. <laughs> <laughs> but I woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to paint. And I looked on Pinterest and I saw this like deep blue color. It's very similar to the jumper you're wearing right now. Mm. And I went to Home Depot. I picked it out uh, as quick as I could, because if I hesitate, then I'll sit in this like thought purgatory forever. It, it was this for bathroom or for bedroom? For the bedroom deep blue. first. And then uh, it's called Deep Breath. Highly recommend if you go wow. check it out. And tranquil I, yeah and i went to the woman that worked at the painting counter uh she, who was like an older woman and i was like can i get um a gallon of this she's like do you want to test it first and i was like do i need to she's like mm. i was like uh. <laughs> well like shouldn't you know you're running the paint section yeah i was like oh i guess maybe you're obligated to like have to offer that so i was like no i'll just get it and then she mixes it up and she shows me and she opens it she goes oh this is gorgeous <laughs> And I was like, yeah, wow, that's beautiful. She goes, I wish I could open a color like this every day. Oh, my God. And I you just. You got so much joy. It's, I mean, it doubled down on I was making the right choice. And so, I mean, yeah, no ugh, regrets. No regrets. Went home, painted, loved it so much. I painted my bathroom. I want, I want to. Oh, wait, I want to talk more about this. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to say <laughs> that you sang the Home Depot. Uh, I think I told you I went to. Uh, uh, see Gary Gulman uh, yeah. or Gulman live like a week and a half ago and he's so fucking funny and he did the most hilarious thing about 
well, he did a whole bit about like how scary mangoes are to cut. <laughs> that there's just like a plank <laughs> inside of them that like splurge for the already cut mango, even though it's a million dollars, because yeah. like you get a mango and you're going to be disappointed with how little meat there's in there. <laughs> anyway, he also did a bit about faith and like him being Jewish and people uh-huh. being like, well, how can you not believe in something? How can you believe in something when you've never seen them? And, yeah. he, and it was like, I believe in Home Depot employees. <laughs> Even though I've never seen them. I love that. Yeah. Wait, okay. So you did your bedroom blue by yourself. By myself. You have high walls though. I do. I figured it out. I also have a ladder. Wait, you figured it out. Is there a pulley system? What's Uh, happening? There was a lot of... Did Goose help? Well, here's uh, here's kind of like a little sad, quick, like blip that happened. No, not sad. No, it's fine. A sad, quick Uh, blip. My uh, next memoir. Yeah. Well, I, I have a ladder and it was all a little treacherous, but I was like, I'm doing it anyway. But then I had this thought thought passed through my brain that was like if i fall off this ladder you're fucked who am i calling you're out of town yeah. hannah was out of town <sighs> elliot's out of town <laughs> i literally was like staring literally. at goose going ah shit you're gonna I have mean, to like go to dinner with someone the night before and rekindle a friendship i guess <laughs> i'll crawl into my neighbor's <laughs> house and just be like hi Hello. i need your help uh but yeah i did that i went to two different home depots and two different targets in two days wait you were scared you were gonna fall and you still did it i still did it made wow. it through handled it and um i feel like if i was drinking i would have fallen so okay cheers to yeah sobriety. that's true well and then you loved it so much you painted your painted your bathroom the painted same my color. bathroom do you last have night? it on your phone no <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't have the picture on your phone surely oh. you sent elliot a picture of I, the finished bathroom i guess i did um but it wow. always it's it's the kind of blue that looks different on camera than it does okay. in person i get it but, i look different on camera oh too. yeah much See? more beautiful person oh wow it's re- it's way brighter in that photo yeah it's like than a it turquoise is. but it's like a, it's like what hannah would call a jazz blue oh yeah of course she would call it a it's jazz beautiful blue. feels very rich and mature i feel like I've did you do all the walls or just that wall just a, uh, just that wall okay see yeah. just Accent the wall okay mm-hmm. but you did the whole bathroom did the whole bathroom wow yeah i feel really accomplished <laughs> intrigued i planted so many plants mm. uh on my deck it can't was, wait for you to kill them yeah yeah i don't know why i didn't go the fake route but um yeah i have i have i'm like falsely surged with like um capability right now good for you yeah i'm riding this wave right now wow yeah well you went down the palm springs and like got some stuff for our house down there so i felt like we were still in like attunement alignment of like Mm -hmm. we're doing some domestic we're doing some stuff i hung up some new string lights you guys i know this is riveting guys this is gonna be the podcast today (laughs) we're we're talking about how we didn't do anything no we're gonna be talking this is our like delicious dish it's a (laughs) full-on being like well and then i and then i got a new recycling Uh, bin wait till i tell you about my SIBO test whoa oh no i am excited about that um i hung up some new twinkly lights but Uh and we'll see how they work they worked when they were charging in the grass i got um solar oh so there's no dangly cord cool nothing like that they just a little you know the little solar panel goes on the roof and then i strung them up and then like hopefully they'll get enough sun there and then they'll just automatically come on like nicely at night oh in theory it sounds perfect right in reality (laughs) it might really fucking suck it'd be just one flickering kind of like horror light a full rudolph oh yeah yeah Are you unhappy with your smile? Are you tired of feeling self-conscious in photos? Well, why not make this year the year you straighten your teeth with Candid? Candid delivers clear aligners directly to you and straightens your teeth for 65% less than braces. Unlike braces, Candid clear aligners are comfortable, removable, and totally invisible. So you can transform your smile without anyone noticing a thing. Plus, you never have to set foot in a doctor's office or waiting room. One of my favorite things to avoid. Your treatment is prescribed remotely by a licensed orthodontist and Candid delivers everything you need right to your door. Unlike other companies, Candid only works with orthodontists, never general dentists. That means that your treatment will be designed by an expert in the tooth movement. Ooh, how fancy, how special. With 20 years of experience on average, looking ahead to wedding season or a special event, well then with Candid, the average treatment length is just six months and you'll start seeing results way before then. Learn more about Candid's process and get a complimentary 3D scan of your teeth at Candid Studio. 
show near you. Find one near you. It's the simplest, freest way to get started. And when you're ready to take the first step towards straighter teeth, for a limited time, you can get started with $75 off by using code TMGW at candidco.com slash TMGW. That's candidco, C-A-N-D-I-D-C-O dot com slash TMGW, code TMGW for $75 off candidco.com slash TMGW, discount code TMGW. Guys, let's be honest. Sometimes you don't want to leave your house to find something to eat. I'm literally recording this ad while in full head-to-toe pajamas, slippers, under blanket with beansers right beside me. And the only problem I have right now is that I am hungry. So I am going to order some food from DoorDash. DoorDash connects you to all your favorite restaurants in the city and ordering is easy. You do it on the app and then boom, they literally dash it to your door. Plus, you can put exactly what you want. You can put all your little modifiers because I literally don't order anything as it is. I am a waitress's nightmare, although I'm very nice about it. However, this way you get to order food and you don't have to annoy anyone. You just have to type it into your app and then it shows up at your door very quickly. It's in 50 states and Canada, and you can order from your local go-to places or, you know, all the the classic favorites like Chipotle, Wendy, Chick-fil-A, even the Cheesecake Factory. That's right. That's my love language. So don't worry about dinner. Let dinner come to you. And here is the scoop, y'all. Right now, Oh, excuse me. My mouth is watering just thinking about the Cheesecake Factory. Right now, our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code TMGW. You download the app, you put in code TMGW, order $15 worth of food, and you're getting $5 off. Don't forget, that's promo code TMGW, $5 off your first order from DoorDash. So, get your food, but don't leave your house. I had a really crazy thing happen to me today in Palm Springs. Yes. Oh, yeah, because you literally just drove back up. I drove back, I showered, and now we're here. (laughs) Um, I I drove up, I showered, Mary came and walked beans. Nice. Because she hadn't seen her in a week, and I was like, we got to... Yeah, you got to give back where you can. We really got to. I got some Mary emails this week. I'll share with you. <laughs> yes. Um, but I went this morning. I had to go to Walgreens this morning to get a couple things. So normally I never go to McDonald's ever. Mm. But I went to McDonald's to get a coffee because I was just like, fuck it. It's mm. right here beside it. Convenient. I don't want to give this empire any more money. But sure. f- screw it. I'll do it. Um, so I drove through the drive through and I was getting two dollars change. Mm-hmm. They gave me a two dollar bill. <gasps> Is that legal? Is it legal? Because I feel like that's fake money. If we, if that was legal to have two dollar bills handed out all the time, why don't we have a? Well, this is why I'm so confused. Uh It's because they handed me a twenty, and it was crisp. Yeah, it's a crisp too. (laughs) So (laughs) that's how I wish my bowel movements were. Yes, I had to go get SIBO tested. Oh my God. It was a crisp too. And so in my head, I'm like, did one of the people this morning ahead of me pay with the two? And, and they're like, we can't keep a two in the register. <laughs> Give that two to the next idiot, yeah. you know? Or was it like, in my head, I was like, that's a great way to brighten someone's day. Is it? If I you're be. like, let's just get a, a thing of twos, uh huh, like every once in a while. Like I saw that too, and I started smiling. You did. I did. See, I would have had a different reaction. I would have really? been like, "What do I do with this?" Because I feel you like you pay it forward. Do people accept twos? It's it is legit currency. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I, th- I don't know why twos exist if they're not used all the time. Right. You and know also, I mean? that makes me wonder, why don't we have a $3 bill, a $4 bill? Well, <laughs> well, an economist can comment on this. I true. And, and I don't know. I didn't even know they still made twos. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that that was still like a, an actual form of currency. I remember when you used to get a two when you were little. Oh, yeah. You'd keep that, too. Yeah, it was like a, <laughs> it's like the, a gift that your grandparents would give like you. Like a silver dollar. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh. Or like, you know, you'd keep it in your wallet for luck. Mm hmm. Yeah. But I was wow. shook. Maybe that was like your membership card to Pump Springs. Like, I feel like only in Pump You're Springs. You're old enough to get does a two. everyone in that area have a $2 bill in their wallet. Wanted, <laughs> wow. Yes, exactly. Um, so anyway, I was delighted. I was like, 
Can we bring? I think two should be more of a thing. Yeah, let's bring twos back. Let's bring twos back. It's twenty twenty. I mean, it seems appropriate. Also, like lots of things are a dollar something. It'd be so much easier to give them a two. Oh, that's true. Do they still make Sacagaweas? Uh, you're asking the absolute wrong person. <laughs> caught up on the mint lately i thought two dollar bills were illegal so is that legal (laughs) yes grace two dollar bills are illegal i feel like for strippers the you know the resurgence of two dollar bills they make a lot more money in tips it's true i mean i definitely grabbed the two realized it was one bill Uh and was uh, for a second thought i was being shortchanged and then i was like (laughs) why i oughta thank you for the two (laughs) Uh, anyway, all this talk about like two dollar bills makes me think it's a Seinfeld episode that should have been. <laughs> yeah. um, so anyway, I go to Walgreens from there mm-hmm. and um, I'm walking around and I hear this woman bitching so hard mm. um, near the pharmacist. OK. And um, but not she's at the pharma- not at the pharmacist, but like in pharmacist Rage. earshot. OK. <laughs> right. Like she's 10 feet back. Away she's, from the pharmacist, talking to someone who's closer to the pharmacist. pharmacist adjacent. Exactly. Okay. Um, and she is bitching and she goes, these goddamn pharmacists, they're saying that the medicine isn't vegan and gluten. The medicine doesn't come vegan and gluten free. When she's been getting that for 13 years, they need to learn to fucking read. <laughs> what? I was like, first of all, you know, this person can fill your prescription and just kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that oh. isn't the person you piss off. No. At wow, all. That's the gatekeeper to your health. Exactly. Or to what I'm thinking is a mood stabilizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. So anyway, so I'm like, oh, shit. Like shit is going down in the pharmacy, right? Yeah. So I, I go and I get everything I need. And then I'm in line and I'm like just checking my phone. And in front of me uh, or like two people in front of me, I hear the woman finish her transaction. And she goes, um, she goes and have a blessed day. And it was the woman who was just screaming at the pharmacist. I'm like, all of a sudden, she went from like screaming at these people to turning into like, blessed be the fruit, like Handmaid's Tale. Wow. It was crazy. I wonder if she got her medication and took it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm And saying. that shit kicked <laughs> in by the time she got to the register. Uh, immediately. Yeah. It wow. was nuts. Wow. Wow. That's the same Walgreens where the woman said her Michael Jackson theory. <laughs> that Walgreens has lots of characters it's, coming in and you out. You know, it's weirder than a $2 bill. <laughs> It's kooky as hell. Oh, wait, didn't you go to the gym down in Palm Springs? Oh, hell yeah, I did. The See, f- that, for the first few days. That fascinates me. You have to go, what? Grace. It's my favorite place. I'm Yeah, I'm very curious about I it. I go and I get like 10 passes for 100 bucks, something like that, because sure. I'm never going to go. Uh, I'm never going to need like a membership. It is, I'm going to say, 90 eight percent male over 60 with like shaved heads and muscles and like everyone looks the same yeah wow everyone looks the same there's usually like literally one other woman in the gym and she's an older (laughs) lady so i go to the i go to the locker room i crank up the sauna Mm -hmm. so it gets hot while i work out because i know no one's got like i would never like sauna with strangers at a gym like whatever and no it's like a private wow Thing. Do you get looks walking in there at all? No one really gives me looks because they're too busy checking out the goods. That's true. It yeah. is a flirt alert yeah, up in there. You do not register on their radar. No, at all. I'm like I I turn <laughs> down the volume on my phone to hear like, well, hey, Richard. <laughs> Why didn't you come out to Why didn't you come out to Two Cans last night? We were waiting for you. Like that's all it is. It's the fucking best. You gotta go. I know. I really want to. I saw your story and I was like oh yeah, that would be really fun to go check out. I wanted to take more videos but then I was like I... You're already pushing it by being like 30 years younger. No, it's so great. Like literally I was checking in and I I don't have a pass and it's you have to do like a little turnstile Mm -hmm. so I have to be like hi last name heart whatever and there's the check-in guide to his back to me and he just goes and I said like yeah it's an open relationship what about it (laughs) oh hi would you like to (laughs) just like this is the best oh I love it I fucking love it so much that's so wonderful did you hear that Britney Spears is getting an art opening in France no I did not you know when she went through her phase on Instagram where she was painting Painting. yes and I loved the reveals of all of her paintings squiggles just was her main 
It's what I paint on mushrooms. <laughs> really? Because I haven't seen any of your mushrooms art. I threw it in the garbage before you got down the Palm Springs. Really? Why? Because, you know, it's a creation destruction. It's also, it was the thing that mattered in the moment and it wasn't worth keeping later. <laughs> oh, man. But just to, I mean. You, you should at least take pictures of it. Sure. You can understand what it is by just looking at the videos of what Britney Spears paints. It's squiggles. But so squiggles of flowers. She's getting her own show, gallery. I guess there's a gallery that's going to display Britney's art. Because someone wow. bought one of them once. I think for charity. I think she like did one for charity. In and France? In France. In Paris. How do we get invited to the opening? That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> so, I burped. I burped, y'all. I'm like, oh, yes. Fancy, fancy France. Invite me as I burp into a microphone. Um, That's incredible. And I for sure want to go check that out. Yeah. Um, How can I, we get to Europe for free? Yeah, <laughs> Starscape is, immediately goes like, w- is there a YouTube festival in? Yeah. How, uh, France it, we can go to. How do we tweet at Paris? We'd like to see the Britney art opening. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Now let's put that into the universe. We would like to attend mm-hmm. that. I saw art online before I got here. Did you see the conspiracy theory that Wendy Williams farted on TV? Oh, yeah. Chip sent it to me. Yeah. Can I play it? It's a loud, wet fart. Is this real? I said, is this real? It it has to be because so many people reposted it right after it happened. And I guess no one from her camp has commented on it. But this is like a cartoonish fart. Okay. Yeah. Play the clip. Here we go. Okay. Get it up to me. The cop wasn't playing that. I mean... You're lucky you only got batteries. <laughs> One more time. Okay. That? I mean, you're lucky you only got batteries. <laughs> that could not be more of a cartoon fart. Yeah, she's trying to really, really she let was, it out slowly. She also definitely like adjusts her body position at the exact same time that this is happening. But also, mics are so directional that, that's, that like, did she have a lav mic on her butthole? Right. <laughs> Or did the audio guy <laughs> fart and picked up a channel by accident? I don't know. Yeah, what happened? Was there a guest backstage that was nervous and didn't realize their mic was hot or something? Then they were in the bathroom. I don't know. Wendy that- Williams had quite the week. She friggin' farts. <laughs> she wet farts <laughs> on camera. And she also, she made fun of Joaquin, Felix Cle- Joaquin Phoenix's cleft palate. Oh, I didn't hear about yeah, that. Yeah, wow. which who, by the way, because of award season, I didn't realize how much I love Joaquin Phoenix. Oh yeah, he's been doing a lot of um, a lot of really great awareness. Yeah, well, first of all, the vegan thing, mm-hmm. which I didn't know. But then, did you watch the SAG Awards? No, I've only been inundated with the Brad right. Jennifer. Well, we'll get to that. Mm-hmm. But like, I watched his speech, and all he does is like talk about like how much he loves all the other people. That's it. Wow. And then goes like, "Thanks for this." Good for you him. Know, and then she went after him. Uh, yeah she was like making fun of his cleft palate and it's like that's a birth defect you biatch go fart yeah yeah they were (laughs) like can you fart on tv to bring back your popularity (laughs) exactly (laughs) uh how do we get out of walking gate Uh, the walking fart (laughs) oh my god so yeah lots of people are into this brad and jen moment yeah i watched the actual like clip of the hand touch backstage. Oh, I've only seen photos. Yeah, the photos are make it a very big moment. Obviously, and it's just like a. It's a quick little thing, but there's a there's. I saw Nikki Glazer posting about it that Jen when she walks away, she like flicks his hand off of her. Yeah, and it's and everyone's there's so many theories about it. Look, the man. I know we're not a gossip uh, little, little podcast, <laughs> but. The man cheated on her and left her when they were married for Angelina. Like, it's... I know, I know people do that and they had kids and all that. But like, guys, like, relax. If Jen isn't into it, I think she probably had a hard time getting over it. Let the girl be over it. Yeah, she's uh, let her mm-hmm. be the social media influencer on Instagram that we all deserve in 2020. Yes. We don't need to inundate her with now having to rekindle this romance. I just want to see her post on Instagram because she's great at she it. She is great at it. She posted the photos of her in the car just laying vertically or horizontally trying to keep wrinkles out of her I dress. I had to do that Yeah, for the SAG Awards. Yeah, I yeah. felt like a corpse. I just rose out of the back seat of a car <laughs> like a, a mummy coming to life. Uh, so relatable. Do you experience stress, anxiety, chronic pain? Do you have trouble sleeping? You know I do. You know memory does. We talk about it at nauseum here on the podcast. So if you experience those things, you're not alone. And I might have something that can help you out. It's called 
Feels. Feels is a premium CBD delivered directly to your doorstep. Feels naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. It's easy to take. You just put a few drops of Feels under your tongue and feel the difference within minutes. They sent me some. One, the packaging is very Pinterest cute. It made me feel very beautiful by proxy. It's just very modern and sleek and cool. And I did try it uh, one night and it did relax me. It helped me sleep. I didn't have any weird side effects. I just very much enjoyed it. And like I said, the packaging is cool. It explains everything right there that you need on it. So you're fully in the know. Uh, And they have real human support if you want more information. If you're new to CBD, Feels offers a free CBD hotline and text message support to help guide you through your personal experience. Get feeling better naturally. That sentence didn't totally make sense, but you get the essence of it. Feels works naturally to help you feel better. There's no high, no hangover, no addiction. And there's a membership. You can join the Feels community to get Feels delivered to your door every month. You'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel at any time if it's not for you. Like I said, I tried it. I liked it. I encourage you to investigate. If you're curious, become a member today by going to feels.com slash TMGW and you'll get 50% 50 off your first order with free shipping. That's feels F-E-A-L-S dot com slash TMGW to become a member and get 50% automatically taken off your first order with free shipping feels.com slash TMGW. Oh, speaking of, um, like super attractive women yes uh okay remember a few weeks ago when i had a dream that again more gossip Uh that sarah (laughs) highland left wells adam for pete davidson yes (laughs) i mean i woke up wow upset the yeah the subconscious rumor heard around the world i (laughs) (laughs) really affected a lot of uh our listeners i know just the thought of it but I was talking to Chip about Pete Davidson like a while ago, uh-huh. and I was like, "Yeah, he like pulls hotties." Um, Kate Beckinsale, right? And of course, we like looked at pictures of her, and she's gorgeous, and she's funny. Yeah, um, Ariana Grande, and now he's dating a model or something. Cindy Crawford's daughter, Kaya Gerber, why who not? looks exactly like Cindy Crawford. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> So it looks exactly like Cindy Crawford. I'm like, oh look, and he's just like, I don't understand this, whatever. And he goes, oh man. I had such a thing for Cindy Crawford when I was younger. I was like, really? <laughs> Chip he goes, said this? <laughs> yeah, he goes, yeah. I remember in a library book, there was an address for like fan letters and I wrote her one. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a handwritten letter to Cindy Crawford. A little child Chip wrote Cindy Crawford a fan letter and mailed it. Oh wait, he found the address <laughs> like, in a book? I think it must have been one, like there used to be books and like magazines where you would send fan mail. Because oh. there wasn't like, there wasn't commenting on Instagram. Right. Like if you were a fan of someone, they, it went to like a PO box, you wow. know? Wow, and wow. Little baby Chip Morgan <laughs> wrote Cindy Crawford. I mean, could you, like what is... I don't know how old you were, Chip, but I'm assuming like nine or ten. What do you say to Cindy Crawford? Yeah, what do you want her to know? Like, what yeah. do you need her to know? Like, that she's beautiful? Yeah, that like, you, you can... are beautiful, marry me? Or <laughs> is it like, is it like, I really loved your work and Mystic I, Pizza? I respect <laughs> your work. <laughs> like, if you ask me, I don't think you should be the spokesperson for wow. Coca-Cola or whatever. Oh, well, now I want to know who else Chip wrote to, because well, that doesn't seem like a one-off. I don't know. It might be a one. I mean, he was like pretty smitten, pretty smitten for Cindy. And then in the next upcoming weeks, we just see you with a beauty mark on right. your face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just randomly. I got a beauty mark. No. And so I, I like DM'd his mom and I was like, Chip just told me this. Do you know this? It's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, DM'd his mom? Uh, yeah, of course I did. I was like, oh my God, this is killing me. And uh, she responded back. She was like, I didn't know about that one. I figured it would have been to the Spice Girls. So I guess he had a big... So then I was like, okay, now I got more dirt on him. So I was like, so... um, So since things didn't work out with Cindy, (laughs) was there then a a Spice Girls phase? He goes, I had to become one on VHS. Oh! On VHS, the music video! Wait, on a... What? To become one? He bought... Spice Girls <laughs> to become on the music video on VHS. Oh, aren't they going? Aren't they doing a comeback tour? They already the did t- it. Oh, they did. They okay. already did it. Never mind. Uh, that's but yeah. amazing. Learned a lot. I didn't even know that you could buy a music video on VHS. 
let yeah. alone find an address for Cindy Crawford. Well, he was doing some snooping. <laughs> I would like to know where that letter ended up. Oh, yeah. What publicist threw that in the Truly. Oh, there's a little boy in Georgia. <laughs> Who has a thing for you, Cindy? <laughs> did you ever write fan letters to anyone? No, <laughs> never. Oh, but I did submit art to Highlights Magazine constantly. Stop it, really? Never got featured. Wait, so Okay, pissed. I don't remember them having art entries. Yeah, they had art entries. That's, I mean, I looked up that address in Highlights, mm. and then I would furiously get my highlights, and I would run upstairs, and I would look <sighs> to the art pages so of, like, good. contributions, and I would never got featured. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that ended my art career until doing mushrooms. Until mushrooms <laughs> and squiggles. Yeah, I'm going to go back down to Palm Springs, squiggle some stuff, and send it back into Highlights and see what happens. Oh, wow, we really should. Do, is Highlights still a magazine? I don't know. We should do that, or you should at least do the, like, what's the what things are hiding in this tree? What's the difference between oh, yeah. these two pictures while you're there? Yeah. I did. Um, okay, you remember? And I think it was YM magazine. They had like the super embarrassing stories yes. in the back, and they would rate how, and it would always be like, I someone thought my tampon string was right. like a spare string on my shorts and pulled my tampon out. Like, it was always getting your period and always a, a not ideal time. I think yes. There was one time where I sent in three fake ones to see. <laughs> <laughs> To this see is, if it'd get featured as like a bet to myself. So you basically, you were trying to catfish why I'm I was trying to catfish. I was like, oh no, I got my period while in a cheerleading pyramid and it just carried all over pig's blood onto a boy walking by. Like none of it was real. The editors were like, this one is way too graphically detailed. It was also like fifth grade years before I got my period. So I didn't really understand that you weren't like dropping a bucket of blood on someone i was like wow i got up and they never used it they never used it wow do Gosh. they still have embarrassing stories in those things again i'm the not i don't have the why answers. do i think that you work at a magazine store <laughs> i have no uh correct answers for any of it well you guys text uh, text us text tweet us. us and let us know if well, they you, still have those everyone's got these text numbers now that you can text people what is this i don't know the number neighbor happened and now all these celebrities are like text me i'll actually respond do uh, they get a fake number and they, like I is heard, it a separate phone? What, is it on your computer? I don't know, but I, and you've never sounded older than <laughs> that. <laughs> How does this World Wide Web work? Where are the cables for it? I know. Is it in the air? What? <laughs> the, uh, I've heard that it's just like a marketing scheme to build up. Basically, you can like collect consumer data oh, and oh, like that's fucked you can like send tour information that's i mean but oh, that's like that i've heard i don't know how valid that is that makes sense yeah because all of a sudden everyone was doing it and i was like this it's seems totally to blast it out yeah it seems very tedious um and i don't understand the benefit <laughs> of it still confused at how it works though like i'm assuming you get a second number from a website yeah all your texts come to there and then you just like type on your computer because yeah. surely you're not getting like no. hundreds of texts on your phone i think it's like a separate app or something that you can get Oy. on your phone and you can answer from your phone and no. I, I don't I get like one text every four months that's clearly a fan pretending to be yeah, yeah. someone and that annoys me yeah i've gotten a bunch of like hello is this grace how big if not i apologize oh uh, see you're getting nice ones mine will be like my aunt shirley fell down a flight of stairs <laughs> drank a bottle of rum and now we're gonna be late for breakfast i'm like this is not <laughs> That sounds like a I'm country not, western I'm not song. falling for this shit, y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for it. Oh, yeah. So anyone that's holding out for us to get one of those text apps at the current time, it's a big old no. Y'all, we it takes us 45 minutes to figure out how to live stream on YouTube, and we've been doing it for six years. <laughs> yeah, so I this, also haven't responded to actual business emails that I should true. respond to, so I can't prioritize correctly right now. It happens. It does happen. Um, my results are still out on whether I have SIBO or not. Okay. And will you explain to the people what that is? Because Hannah just yeah. realized she has it and she she's taking it. antibiotics to get through with Very it. Very trendy. It's super trendy. I feel a little left out. I, uh, I mean, there's still a time. Uh, I don't know if I have it. I'm not sure. But I got tested for it just to see. It's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. I think it's... It sounds uh, hot. It's very sexy. Um, <laughs> and I, from what I gather about it, I don't know a ton about it. I think women are more affected by it than men. Um, but it's basically like your bacteria overgrows and they can't like break down these carbohydrates and things that are in uh, a oh. lot of foods. So you blow and you have different sorts uh, of like. So it's, it's just like a 50 carb pile up in your small intestine. Basic, 50 carb 
There you go. Pile up. Nailed it. Thank you, Sebo, if you need a joke writer. (laughs) Uh, But Mm. the test to see if you have it is unlike anything. It's not blood work. It's a breath test. That's so strong. It's so strange. Hannah did an at-home one. I went to like the actual hospital and did one. They do it in groups and they basically give you a time to show up. So it's weird. Already strange. Okay. I've never done a like a medical test. It's like an test. audition. Yeah. Yeah. Show up and sit in this room and, and I, take deep breaths. And yeah, I've that's never me. wanted the part less than yeah. <laughs> in totally. this audition. But I got there and there's like seven other people in the room. And then they give you a bracelet. It has your like name and birth date on it. So they can make sure that no one else's stuff gets mixed up with anyone else's. Because okay. you're given a bag <clears throat> uh, and you basically have this kazoo like instrument that like seals Locks. off the bag it yeah the, it detaches and attaches to this bag that they bring out to you and you basically blow into this bag every 15 minutes for two hours and 15 minutes you did you bring one, stuff to watch on your yeah, phone yeah okay. i i brought my computer i was doing work uh and it's like you go in and this is very clinical beige waiting room and there was like seven other people there when i got there and they're all holding their kazoos and uh then the doctor and nurse comes out and they're like are you great celebrating it's this match that does the bag yeah with, like match yes and then they set a timer you blow in once then they take the bag away and they're what? like coming back and forth so everyone is on different timers you're not holding your bag no you're holding your kazoo and the kazoo oh. goes on the bag and they take the bag with the breath in it and it's so bizarre hold on is is it contagious because why are we sticking all these people in a room no it's not contagious because it's in your intestine did you eat something weird like what's the There's cause a, i'm trying to avoid this shit. a lot of the causes there i don't i don't know for sure exactly what the cause is a lot of people have different things i've heard that if you take like antibiotics back to back it can oh, like counter, it, like, it r- ruins the bacteria yeah. in your intestinal system when it grows takes back. everything away good and bad yeah and so uh, it's also if you like there's a lot of food that have these things called FODMAPs in them which are like it's the molecule or something that your intestine can't break down I don't Jesus. know for sure I'm sure there's people out there that know way more about it that are screaming at me they're like this is false information for sure there are um, <laughs> so <laughs> google it uh, and so yeah I, I sit down and there's this older woman next to me and uh, I'm like okay I'm here for two hours here we go and she just goes you're too young to be sick and I was like <gasps> oh god here's hoping and then the nurse comes out she's like would you like to sit in this cubicle over here to me like points me out of because everyone old, the old broad is i have no idea and they put me in this cubicle that's like 10 feet away from where everyone else is sitting uh, other people who got there first like why didn't we get the cubicle i didn't understand is she famous i have no idea i didn't understand it at Whoa. all but it's the weirdest thing because like i said everyone is on 15 minute intervals and so they have these little timers like kitchen timers that go off that are and going they, off constantly they're going off constantly and then the noise that it makes when you blow into the bag is like inflating a whoopee cushion and so for two hours i'm just hearing this symphony no. of random let me just play for you yeah. what it sounds like when you blow into this bag okay. uh because it is the silliest thing okay here we go wait 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 wait, wait. okay Ready? i believe in you <laughs> it's it's, that sounds like a New Year's like or a birthday yeah, party like yes. the thing that rolls out and rolls back in. Yes, that's exact. I couldn't place it. That's exactly what it sounds like. And so for two hours, just randomly, you just hear. What? This is the saddest party I've ever heard. It was so confusing. And then they finally, after my two hours were up, they're like, uh, "You're all done." And I was like, oh, "Okay, I can go." They're like, "Unless you want to be here till 7. I was like, "Nope." No, and absolutely I stand not. up out of my cubicle. I'm the last one in the room. <laughs> That's the weirdest feeling of all time. Oh my God. Do you, when do you get your results? I guess any Should day. Should we do it's a like, SIBO reveal? Like, like a gender? I know, right? <laughs> it's like three to five days from now. We'll find out. And basically like the, they give you an antibiotic to take if you have it. And you have to do like a more restricted diet for a little bit to let your bacteria like, I guess, figure it shit out. But Literally. well, yeah, seriously. And so we'll see. I don't know for sure if I have it. I know that I have like irritable bowels happening, but we'll see. Yeah, but also you've been yeah, little bow bow. I've been little bow wow bow wow <laughs> yeah. forever. So if yeah. this is something you can fix, would that's love to know. Cool. Yeah, the bummer is that you really shouldn't be eating like garlic and onion, and those are like the two main things I really like in food. Bitch, too. I feel you. I got rosacea. Yeah. You're not supposed to drink. Oh, like it's exacerbated by alcohol and spicy things. Ugh, that's all I those are your consume. only food groups <laughs> that's yeah. all I consume well soon enough soon enough oh but I did think what? of a, I figured out a, kind of a life hack for um the fact that we're craving so much sugar because we're not drinking yeah I went to Target and I bought 
all gummy vitamins. I bought hair <gasps> gummy vitamins. I bought yes. like women's health so vitamins. So you have just a bag of gummy bears every day, but it's good for you. Every morning, I'm having about 12 gummy bears first thing when I wake up. And yes. And I am living my best life. Oh my God, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to get a gummy bear for fucking everything. Oh, it, I look forward to taking my vitamins in the morning. <laughs> It's where I'm at. It's the little things, and I'm I it highly really recommend is the little things. Yeah, right. Yeah, look at us, 2020. I read a book. <laughs> what? I read a fucking book. What did you read? Daisy Jones and the Six. Oh yeah, because you had a book club. Yes, which I, I just ended up staying in. I was going to come back for like 36 hours this week in Palm Springs, but I ended up staying through. Right. So I missed going to my actually book club, mm-hmm. my actual book club. But I sent a drink recipe for them to make. Look at you with like a couple of jokes in the recipe about the book. That's- you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is more bitter than that guy when he, you know, got kicked out of the band. Hey, you're proving that you read the book. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but I, I read the book. I enjoyed it. Good job. And now I'm going to read the next book. <laughs> I mean, so I, I know listening it's better. Like, like, you guys are <laughs> idiots. How have you survived up until now you what and have i you both done? know this like we've only read our books uh-huh. when we're writing them our yeah. friends books like yeah. what have you i haven't like read a novel no i have not either so and kudos. i want to write a novel and i was like maybe i should read a couple <laughs> yeah exactly see how they're kind of laid out maybe we should see they're not all pictures all right let's see what's I up see. with novels but i was very proud of myself but now i'm already scheming because it's like rotating who hosts that month. And oh. if you're hosting that month, people coming over, you pick the book. Right, right, right. First of all, that's a lot of pressure. Yes, it is. Because I'm also like, is it all novel or can we do like biography? Like a funny like yeah. Ali Wong or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm already scheming, rationalizing getting an outdoor pizza oven. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, like, not like one of those it's like brick ones. A to like F. <laughs> like a little, like a little, you know, one you can put on a table. Uh-huh. Because do you remember Book It? Mm. at pizza hut mm. is this right is this the does this show the two-year age difference in us maybe this i it's kind of familiar but i'm not totally sure it's Book like, it was a program in the early 90s with pizza hut to encourage kids to read oh. and essentially like you read books and depending on how many books you read you had this like hologram book it sticker oh. and they would like if you read a certain amount of books you you got like to go to pizza Hut and get a free personal pan oh yeah, yeah this i mean it's the familiar. only reason why i read as a child <laughs> like truly i thought i was like i can be self-sufficient you gotta incentivize i can run away from home if i read enough books and survive <laughs> off my book it yeah. not even thinking like how do i get to pizza Hut? it's 15 minutes away yeah, yeah but yeah so i was like what about adult book it where it's like mm. if i read i get to have a fucking pizza night once a month that yeah i mean i think you am just I, created it for yourself am I insanely boring <laughs> no, this whole podcast. This life, well you and i are so into rewarding ourselves yeah we operate like pets yeah like we need to be rewarded to get shit done totally i, I think that's a great idea okay would you want to join i mean yeah depending on the results of my SIBO test and what i can eat yeah i will <gasps> okay if you're SIBO free baby you're joining the book club i'm all in wow we uh, yeah, we are did it. Really old. Yeah, God, I mean, dry January. Wait till February. <laughs> February, you aren't even gonna believe the kind of hijinks we get into. I, I'm a little scared for February. Well, it still got weird. Yep. This might get weird. <laughs>